All right, guys, welcome to episode 62 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, yo, got Jay yo. in the back, got the yo. dogs running around. You Let's already know how it. the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Don't forget, man. We got some merch. We're going to put the link in the description. If you already got some, we appreciate you. That's yeah, love from the bottom it. of the heart. Y'all a Dope Talk family, and you already know how the fuck we rock, Family, man. yo, we But yeah, it. man, we're back with another one. How you feeling, Johnny Bo? Shit, I'm chilling. We chilling. Vibing. Got a couple brews. You know what I mean? Brews. We got Jay in the motherfucking building. Yes, sir. Yup, yup. Yo, Remy, are you for real right now, son? What do you do? That nigga's jumping on the couch in the back. Yo, Remy. We should fuck him up. That is what happens when you have a French bulldog, guys. Yo, he, <laughs> he has to be next to me at all times. <laughs> for real. Yeah. You're a little fucking dick, man. Nah, for real. So, yeah, man, we talking about brews and yeah, shit. Yeah, brews. And you be talking about, you know, people that don't take their own advice and shit. You know what I mean? We're talking about that. Because I yeah. got a couple homies that fucking <laughs> give me the best advice. But when it comes down to them, these motherfuckers don't do shit about nah, it. fuck these niggas, man. <laughs> That's look, trash. Look, bro, if you ain't taking your own advice, don't tell me it. Oh, God, bro. Nah, for I real. I don't want to hear it. Now, I, you know what? I've done it a couple times. You know, like, I'll tell the homies, like, yo, don't be with that girl. You know, she toxic, bro. She's horrible for you. And, and I'm then, out here, and I'm out here doing, the, you the know. The same shit. The same exact thing. So, you know, <laughs> you know what, guys? Like, I feel you, you know? So, I'm one of those those type of people. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, look at him. Yo, look at this. Look, you, know, you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he jumps high, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. Remy, shit. come in. Look at this guy. Yo, carefully Red... fall on his face. Yeah, though. bro. That is Yo, dangerous. Relax. Come here. Come here, bro. Yo, Get on the ground. There you come go, buddy. Yo, but yeah, hang- guys, that's Dope Talk Remy. For those of y'all that don't we'll know, you can follow him on Instagram. You know what I mean? Yeah, he has he's his chilling. own page and shit. He's cool. He's he vibing. Be cool. nah, he's a good boy. He uh, just be cooling. But, but yeah. yeah, man, back to the topic at hand, bro. I like I don't like people that do that, bro. Don't give somebody advice if you're not. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you gotta hit the gym. You gotta take care of yourself, and then you're at the house and not going to the gym, eating whatever the fuck you want. But just being a piece of shit. Yeah, facts. It's like don't just say it just because it sounds good. Like. Yeah, yeah, like mm-hmm. actually, actually mean what you say. You yeah, know what I mean, be like, a man of your fucking word. That's what it. That's what it is. Like Ultimately, be a man of word. That's what it comes down to. You gotta be a man at your word, bro. Like that's the only thing that we have in life as guys, bro. Is our word and our balls. Yeah, exactly. Real that's shit. that's all people are gonna remember you as. Mm-hmm. Seriously, if you're a man of word or if you're a fucking bullshit, what's that shit in Spanish? The fucking they call the fucking. What's that saying? When they say when they say in Spanish, fucking they talk a lot of shit, but they don't mean it. They just talk a lot of shit. I don't know what oh, the fuck man. you're talking fuck, We don't got real Puerto Ricans in this bitch. Fuck out of here. We don't got real Ricans. Yeah, nah, I'm not, I'm not fool. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but that's not what that means, but it's oh, okay. But you know what I mean, bro? <laughs> they talk a lot of shit, and they don't fucking mean it. <laughs> I'm fucking tired, bro. <laughs> I'm wild. tired of that shit. Nah, I'm tired of that shit, too, bro. I'm tired of taking advice from, from motherfuckers that never done the shit either, bro. bro yeah. That's another thing. On YouTube. Yeah. I have yeah. gurus on YouTube that like, I'm going to start proclaiming my mate. Took $2,000 and turned it into a million. Motherfucker, you did not. Bro, listen, listen, guys. If you are 22 years old, don't talk to me about being a life coach. Yeah. A fucking yeah. life coach at 20. Yeah. Nigga, what the fuck have you lived through? Nah, for at real. 22. You're 18 years old, bro. Your balls just fucking dropped to the Facts. fucking floor. You you don't know anything you about life. You just got your trust fund. You, you just got your trust fund, so now you want to tell people how to make money and shit. Like, shut the fuck up. Bro. Nah, that's <laughs> not for real. Unless you got a million. Show me a million dollars. Nah, fact, nah show me a nah, hundred grand. Nah, fuck that. Show me the work that you put in to get a million dollars. Nah, you for real. You could have got a million dollars from your daddy, nigga. That's true. Show that's me true. a million dollars. That's true. Yo, Remy just cooling out here, bro. Look yeah, at he him. He just wanted to chill, yeah, bro. He just wanted to vibe out with us, man. Um, I'm gonna put down his link right here too for his. He's little, a good dog when he wants to be, bro. Besides that, he's a piece of shit. Nah, bro. he's a piece of shit. But I love yeah, the guy though. You know yeah, I mean? you know, there's a couple cool people guy. that I don't listen to and I do listen to. Facts. You know, you got to. You got to. You know, especially the people that do what you, you know, what they're talking about and actually been there and done it. Then I'll listen to them. You yeah, know what bro. I mean? Uh, for people that just try to give you advice that just comes out of their fucking ass because of like how they want it to go, I feel like you know. That's just bullshit. Don't listen to those fucking people because they, they they haven't been there. They haven't done it. Right. They haven't done what you've done. Right. You know what I mean? Or even try to achieve that. So um, those are the people, you know, we were talking about that too earlier, you know. Nah, facts, bro. It's, listen, man, just going back to walking the walk, bro. Yep. If you talk the talk, walk the walk. Walk the walk. You know what talk I mean? Like, me personally, I got to a point in my life, bro, where I don't want to, I don't want to take advice from you if you're not where I want to be in life. You know what I mean? Like, yep. and it's, it might sound fucked up, but 
I mean, I feel like that, like success leaves clues, bro. And, and that's part of the blueprint. Like you can't listen to the guy at McDonald's working the cashier on how to invest into stocks. My nigga, yeah. you're or working you at McDonald's. You're not living off of, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. You could <laughs> listen. You, you could. could. You, you got could. a choice. You got but a choice. Guess what? <laughs> that nigga's going to fuck your whole bank account up, bro. But you know there's some people that would take his advice. Though. There's those dumbass people that do go into McDonald's and yeah, look looking for the that guy, advice. guy in the counter. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you know what? The guy at McDonald's told me that if you invest $1,000, it's like, bro, he was working at McDonald's. Not Why facts. didn't he do it? Why didn't he do it what he told you? <laughs> exactly. Listen, and and it's, it's a pyramid scheme. Anybody yeah. working at a fast food place that needs a thousand dollars to get you ahead in life, they're running a pyramid scheme, bro. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Yeah, facts. There's no way. Shout out to all my McDonald's. And that's yeah, shout day. out to all my McDonald's employees, though, bro. Y'all nah, 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 nah. Fuck you guys. You guys tried to. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yo, nah. I'm... Yo, fuck you guys. Yo, Yo. I'm going to tell every single McDonald's employee. There's only been a couple. You know, salute to the people that have been on point. Nah, facts. You know what salute I mean? Because, yo, that. Ones, yo, that. That fucking job that you y'all got is not easy, bro. That you got, shit ain't, I be looking bro. at the lines and I be driving by like just driving, and I see a line that go that wraps around the whole goddamn McDonald's and parking lot. Everybody's life. ordering thirty dollars worth of food. Yo, and y'all are still on time with it. Like y'all are still like y'all are on point. You know what I mean? Are like, like y'all are like the fucking uh like the Santa elves and shit. You know what I mean? Like, like, it's like a whole fucking conveyor belt. Nah, until they forget the fucking present that they fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I Fuck these guys, yo. <laughs> Anyways, back to the fucking story. <laughs> Fuck you guys, because you guys forgot a McChicken. We ordered what? How many, Jay? Like three, four, five McChickens? Yeah, we ordered, some, we ordered like four. Yeah, we ordered four. And this motherfucker didn't even make it a McDouble. He said, Fuck you, eat the bun. Because it was said, nothing in the middle. It was nothing, just bread. Nothing, and I felt it. And it was just light. Huh? Bro, it was light. And one of them was light. I was like, yo, this is not right, bro. This is this, Something's off, bro. Because he gave me two. He was like, here, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You got lettuce and mayo in that bitch. Yo, this motherfucker tried my ass. So I opened you know that bitch up. you looked at the sandwich. You, you couldn't tell that it wasn't chicken? Nah, that's straight. Listen, bro, you know what I call that? What? Finesse. Yeah. Finesse. Got my I ass. I need finesse your ass, Yo. bro. You know who finesse me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, yo. yo, 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 yo fuck this nigga, man. Hold on, hold on, nah, I'm going to let him say this. Remember when I got fucking... I got robbed for $20, man. You know what, man? These these motherfuckers pulled up my crib, man. I was just trying to buy a 20 sack. Nah, facts. Fucking a little dub, you know A little what dub, man. man. A little dub, ski. They had me. And, and he, I didn't ask to be here and put through this shit. And motherfucker, I know who you are because you were standing next to me not too long ago, You're motherfucker. You're a piece of shit. I hope you the know motherfucker that. that robbed me <clears throat> for twenty dollars. You know what I mean? Nah, nah but nah. it wasn't really robbing. Like it was like it wasn't a rob. He like, was he was supposed to pull up, drop off a twenty sack, and dip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and when John gave him the money, they just took off. Yeah, they took off. You know what? Classic <laughs> scheme. That's yeah. classic, bro. That's classic high school shit. Yeah, bro. It's like I gave somebody fifty bucks for a bag of cocaine and then never shit back up with it. Like, and I should have known. Nah. wired up. That motherfucker just picked up a twenty. He's like, yo, fuck yeah, yeah bro. Like, I'm about to go pick up a fucking six pack. We, we got pack. blunts and we got gas. Where we going, boys? <laughs> Straight finesse, bro. What can you do? You gonna go to the cops and be like, yo, so it's her by the dub and uh. Nah, for real. Yo, somebody will do it too. Yeah, that's true. Somebody will fucking sit here and call a cop. I seen that shit on cops. There was a crackhead that she got mad because some bitch like finessed her for like forty dollars. She she was supposed to come back with crack and she never that's did. That's the shit that happens in Florida. Bro, that shit happens a All lot. All the time. For because real. I recently saw that some guy called the cops because the roommate took like their weed or some shit. Wow. And he called the cop. Wow. So I had an ounce and my roommate stole it. He called the cops to say he had an ounce of weed and his roommate stole it. The cops were like. Yeah, we, like, there's nothing we can do. No, bro, you want me to arrest you now yeah. or later? Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, I'm maybe... I've been three years and I know that. I ain't gonna lie, man. Maybe it was karma because, you know, I've, I've done the same shit on somebody, bro. So I ain't, I ain't gonna sit here and... Sometimes that shit comes back, back around. Yeah, you know, what you I, know mean? I even I even stuck my head out the window and laughed and pointed when I did it. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. But it was, was it was for there. a lot more. It wasn't two. No, it was like... I, I was there and this guy's a piece of shit. Nah, you for real. laughing at somebody's pain. Nah, that, you know, talk about pain and love, man. <laughs> Let's talk about pain and love, man. Cause this, Let's this, change the subject. Yeah, man. Because I don't even want to be fucking snitching on myself, bro. Nah, facts. facts this motherfucker facts. probably watching us. And this guy was nah, a facts. big motherfucker. He was soft, though. He didn't do shit. Yeah. Nah, he oh. didn't. He had class with him. It was funny as hell. That shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> nah, man, but we talking about love and hate, man, and, and, and fake love. And... <laughs> yeah, fake love versus real love, man. Like, you could, 
you can tell when somebody has genuine love for you, you know what I'm saying? When they just want the best for you and they want to help you out in whatever way they can. And then you, you could tell the people that are just showing love just to keep you around for a certain reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah, bro. Everybody, everybody wants to be showing, like, I don't know, bro. We live in a weird time, but that fake love shit is real, bro. Like people, it's weird. You know what fake love is to me? Is somebody like, these niggas that go on girls' Instagrams and they fall in love with them like a legit connection. That's fake love because at the end of the day, you fall in love with pictures. You fall in love with a lifestyle. People fall in love with it. That's a re- that's a kind no. of you think about it, that's fake love. It's yeah. When people idolize celebrity, that's fake love. You don't know this person. You don't know him. You don't know him for who he is. Bro, most you don't. Yeah. yeah, most people that meet their favorite celebrity actually end up being disappointed. Yes. Like when they meet him, they're like, damn, like that yeah. nigga lame yeah. as fuck. It's just like Drake and Pusha T. Drake even had a microphone yeah. signed by Pusha T. You know what I mean? So sometimes you, you know, meet people and they're fucking assholes. And, and the Drake in the interview is like, you know what, man? Like I really, really like looked. I, I watched that that interview by him. That's gotta be the worst feeling. Yeah, and that he, sucks. He was yeah, very disappointed, man. You have this illusion in your head of how yeah. this person is, and then you meet him and you're like, yo, you're a piece of shit. Like yeah. what? For real? Like, like you're not, not a good I person. I can't even like your music the way I used yeah, to. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that fucks up. Or movies, because like celebrity people meet some actors, and it's like, oh, you liked him in this movie. He was such a great guy, but then you meet him, and he's a piece of shit. And he's a piece of fucking like Joe Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Joe Dirt. Yo, Joe Dirt. Yo, that movie was <laughs> funny as fuck. <laughs> when he got trapped down in the fucking hole in the middle of the house, and it's he was fucking with that weirdo. Lotion. It puts his lotion on its skin. <laughs> He's hey, like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yo, bed. Joe Dirt. Yo, that fucking movie's underrated, though. That movie uh, is I overrated, bro. I still laugh my ass off today. That yeah. movie's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's all right, but it's Joe. Right. It's no, just like Tyler Dick and Lights. It's white people comedy, bro. It's white people comedy. <laughs> It's like Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. Oh, God. God. Yeah. It was funny. But then when I watched it with white people, I got one of them why it was funny. Yeah. I was like, y'all niggas is cracking up. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. But nah, man, you know, there's, there's, there's different types of forms of love and hate. And, mm-hmm. you know, there's some people that, that give a certain type of love that, you know, it, it's like, man, you didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? That type of love. Yeah, that's There's, real love, man. It's, it, it, it's a different type of love. You know, it's genuine. You know, sometimes the people that love you the most are the people you barely know. That's facts, that's, bro. And, that's and we were the, talking about that earlier, how like lately, bro, we've been getting a lot of love, a lot of love from uh, people that we've never even fucking seen before. We never we've met never in our met life. Them, and they're showing us love, bro. DMing us, you know what I'm saying? Like, just showing mad support. Yo, shouting us out, bro. You know yeah, what I mean? I got like people that... copping merch. You know what I mean? Like, like that's, that's fucking love, man. Like, that's man. love, bro. That's love, bro. And it's, it, you know what I mean? It, it's sad, man. It's sad that a lot of the times it takes strangers to show you the love that you deserve. You know? Like, the people closest to you sometimes, they, like, I don't know if it's... Be- an intimidation thing if it's like they don't believe in you if it yeah if it's low-key hate like i don't know what it is but usually people that are closest to you they don't get they're not happy for you along the way they're happy for you when you get like the prize you know what i'm saying like i don't know how to explain it. yeah it's like you know what i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure that you're gonna make it but right. i'm gonna ride it 50 percent. so when you get to 100 I could just say, hey, you know, yeah, I, 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 ro- I rolled 50%. Yeah, but I you rolled, know what? I was here since the beginning and shit. But you know what? I need you at 100% throughout yeah. the whole process of me going through this whole transition of me going through ups and downs. Facts, I need you. Bro, I need you there. We talk and we sit here. We bullshit. We try to make people laugh, bro. But people go through real life shit, man. Like this year alone, bro, we, we've, we us three in this room, bro, have lost people close to us. You know what I'm saying? Jay, you know, lost his father. Rest in peace to him. John Back. lost his grandfather, bro. I lost two uncles. Like, this shit ain't a joke out here, you know? So, like, the love that we do get for the work that we put in, we fucking love you guys right back, bro. And it, it, we really appreciate that shit because the people that do this and know how much work actually goes into this, like, they know. Like, we were setting up for, what, two and a half, two hours before we fucking started this? Yeah, like, two, three hours we out here. Like, if you're willing, like... You know, I got people wanting to be on the show, you know what I mean? And, you know, I love you guys, you know what I mean, to the fullest. But it's like, bro, like, what can you bring to the table without any money being fed to you right now? Facts. Like, what can you bring to the table? Are you really, like, here throughout the whole process or are you just here for, like, for the winnings? Right. You know, and it's kind of like you can't you can't get mad at a person like that because you, you got to look at it from both sides, both perspectives. Um, and, you know, you got to be there 100%. 
You know, and and you got to run this shit 100%. Like, look what we've been through. You know what I mean? We got people that we love, that we lost. And you know what? We got to keep it 100. We got to keep going. Facts. There's you no can't breaks. stop. Like, there's, you can't. There, listen, man. We all, we all have our days. Like, there's days where I be slacking more than I want to slack, you know? And I be apologizing to my boys. Like, y'all pick it up. I'll, you know, I'll get back on it. But that's the whole thing. Like, it's okay to fucking have your day where you're like, yo, I'm, I, I'm mourning today. Like, this yeah. is a bad day for me. But... Tomorrow, I'm hopping back on that motherfucking high horse, nigga, and we out. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just stay yeah. down, bro. You, yeah. can't, you, you, think, you just you, can't stay down. You think the, the loved one that you lost, you think they want to sit here and watch you, you know, not pull up your full potential? Facts. You know what I mean? Like, you don't think they're sitting up there in heaven and just looking down at y'all and be like, yo, like, like man, I don't want him suffering. I don't want him upset. You know what I mean? Facts. Like, that, you, they want you to, to, to push it 100%. And, um, now I think that's, that's very important. You know, like just if you got a, if you got somebody that's, you know, making a, a a small business, a family business and, you know, maybe something small, support them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro, and I'm not saying really I'm not take... saying I'm not asking for the world. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, like we're not the asking thing is, bro. People act like it's all about money, bro. Support can mean a million fucking things. It could be a share. It could be a, it share. Could be a like it could be a comment, bro. Yeah, it that's could... all support. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you just you show in love. You like. It doesn't always have to be about fucking bread for it to be yeah. love. And I think that that's another thing that we got fucked up in this generation. It's materialistic Like, people won't shit. show love unless they're getting something back for it. Yep. And that's fucked up. Like, if you're doing it like that, bro, don't do it at all. Don't like, do if it. You gotta, yeah. If you got to sit here and expect something back for, for you doing a favor, then why are you doing the... Like, don't do it because it's not pure. It's yeah. not with pure intentions. It's yeah, not it's because not you want to help that person. It's because you want to help yourself later on down the line. Exactly. You know, like... Like, sometimes, like, especially when you have kids and stuff, like, yo, believe in yourself, man. Like, yo, like, believe in your kids. Believe in the dreams. You know what I mean? Like, yo, vouch, vo like, vouch man. Like, vouch for that motherfucker. Like, yo, like, even though you, you're not 100% sure that he's going to make it, but there's always that small possibility. Bro, there's it's a high even, possibility. It's not even about, it's not yeah, even about want... the possibility of them making it. It's just like, yo, if that's what makes your boy happy, if that's what makes your friend happy, why not support it? Exactly. Period. Like it has nothing to do with nothing else, bro. If that person is happy doing what they're doing, and they're not out there hurting nobody while they're doing it, and the, you know what I'm saying? And like this makes you happy. Like we're happy like, doing bro, it. It's like I'm yeah. happy for you, bro. I'm happy that you're happy doing this. Whether yeah. it's yeah, it, and you could be not. doing anything in your life, bro. You know what I mean? And not no, like nothing crazy, nothing negative. You know what I mean? But if you're doing something positive and you're happy and you're doing it, I'm not gonna sit here and judge you for it or or think you're less of me as a person. Like that, I see what you're saying. Like that's not that's we if your boy's happy and he's doing his thing and he you know what I mean then just be happy for him that's Fuck, all that's all man. at the end of the day to end the conclusion like to end of that is just be happy yeah be happy bro and do be what happy. makes you happy not what other people you know want you to do cuz that happens a lot nowadays where you know people let themselves get tricked out of the position they're in trying to listen to other people yep. you know and it's like bro you can't do that shit like they're not in your shoes they're not they they're not facing the obstacles you're facing, bro. So ultimately, like you got to make that decision on your own. Yep. You know what I mean? Like don't let somebody give you some advice that's going to fuck you over in the in the future. Like just because you think that they're your friend or whatever, like everything isn't for everybody. You know? Like if somebody gives you advice and it's not applicable towards you, just be like, "Yo, thank you. I appreciate you trying to help, bro, but I got it." Yeah, I got it, bro. You, you know, know what, what I mean? mean? Like especially like I remember, man, like I remember, man, like, what you were saying, like, just tricking out of your, you know, tricking people out of their position. There's going to be people out there that's going to trick, try to trick you out of your spot. You know what I mean? Like, even in a regular job, in a regular Facts. normal job, like, you're going to have job, people trying school, to... school, everywhere, bro. Everywhere. It's, if you're doing some, it's something, like, better, or you're just a better, <laughs> I don't know, you're just better at, at somebody else, at, at your job, and you're just, you're, your work ethic is better. And you're fucking putting in work and you deserve that position. You're going to have some people that are going to hate on that. Because Facts. they're not going to want to work as hard as you, but they want that spot. And a lot of people end up having problems at work because of that. And they don't even know why. They're like, yo, what the fuck is it with this office? Like, bro, it's because you're not even fucking trying and you're running circles around motherfuckers. Yeah. And they're looking at that intimidated and they're like, yo, let's get this man out of the, his position. Like, let's get him out of his mindset because he's fucking it. He's fucking up the office. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. 
And that's that's kind of crazy, man. Like, there, there's going to be people that are going to try to trick you out. And that's kind of, I call them the devil, man. That's the yeah, devil. Yeah, nah, that is the devil, the bro. Devil the devil trying... is real. They talk about the devil's a lie. Nah, bro, the devil's real, bro. The devil's real. The devil that's is living, shit. bro. You know what I mean? And they'll try to trick you out and try to do something you don't want to do. Maybe something that, that will get you in trouble at work. And they have, an, they have a plan. You know what I mean? They have an agenda to, to take you down. Mm-hmm. But in the front, they put a mask on. You yeah, know, they act facts. like, you know, it's... This is 2020, I'd be careful. That statement doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> everybody but the... <laughs> everybody. Facts. Everybody. You know what I mean? Nah, and, and sure. I'm not going to say everybody because there's a lot of good people out here. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good people. Um, As yeah. time passes, I feel like people are getting shittier and shittier, though. Because yeah. of, like, you know, technology gives you the ability now to just find anybody at any time and just fuck with them. Like, like a, a, a relative can post a car like you. You sent me that video. You got a new car, right? And there's going to be like, I've seen videos that are positive. I was just telling Ivy the other day that are positive. Real mm-hmm. good. Like this guy cleaned his life, was a crack addict. And it'll have 500 dislikes. And I'm like, what could you dislike about somebody who fixed their life? Like, you know yeah. It's just the hate, bro. It's a fad. Like it's cool to hate on. Like, yeah, it's, like it, it's, it, cool it's weird, bro. It's yeah. cool to fucking like go against the, cu- go against the current. Yeah, like. Yeah. Oh, a thousand people liked it. I'm gonna be the one motherfucker that didn't. Yeah, because exactly. like, bro, you're a lame ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you're lame, bro. Like you could tell why like, you're on the other side. Like you wake up and you just pity on your life. <laughs> like, like you, you really do. You wake up and you already have a negative thought. But you know what? Misery loves company. So we're yeah, gonna, bro. we're gonna, we're gonna try to bring you down with them. You know what Facts. I mean? Like. That, that, that's fucked up. Yeah, bro. If you wake up and you yeah. haven't brushed your teeth and you're already fucking throwing a pity party, bro, you lost. Yeah, you yeah. lost. Like you lost for the day. Facts. You lost like, for you lost for the rest of the day until yeah, you wake facts. up and you and you change that fucking attitude. Yeah, exactly. Because it's right. all about attitude at the end of the day. People want to talk about oh my life this my life that, but you wake up and it's all negativity. Like yo, like that that's not gonna change nothing. I yeah, maybe your life is shitty. World country pictures the other day. Yeah. Because he was complaining about like oh I don't have nothing to do. And I was like, you have Xbox, you have a Switch. And I just showed him pictures of kids in third world countries, hungry, like naked, eating out of garbages. And he was shocked. He almost cried. My, nine, my 10-year-old got emotional. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, real kids your age are going through this right now. Yeah, facts. Yeah, so be grateful you for what you got. Yeah, yeah, you you know? gotta be grateful, man. Exactly. And we say that. We gonna say that. We gonna say that forever because we yeah. talk about it a lot. Being we grateful, do. that's big. We probably bring it up every other episode. But, bro, I feel like it's something that's underrated, man. You have yeah, to be grateful. Yeah. There's you a gotta lotta be things grateful. You, you yeah. gotta... You got to be grateful for the smallest things in life, man. Like we, like, bro, like Jay just said, man, there's people out here in third world countries. There's people out here starving. There's people out here homeless, bro. There's people out here dying of diseases. There's people out here watching their families, loved ones, kids die of diseases. You know, like that shit ain't cool, man. So you got to be grateful for what you got. If you know, if you got, if you got your health, you got, you got your family and you guys got food and a place to sleep, nigga, you're fucking blessed. Count your blessings. Thank God for it. Wake up in the morning, say a prayer, you know what I'm saying, for having everything that you have and, and having the opportunity to have everything that you have. Yeah. You know? And, you know, and that's there's nothing wrong with wanting the finer things in life at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And some people get that mixed up. It's like, yo, he's arrogant. You know, he doesn't care about nothing. It's because, you know, he, he wants the top notch. He wants the best of the best. There's nothing wrong there's with nothing reaching wrong with for that. the fucking stars, bro. There isn't, man. There ain't no, there, there ain't no fucking... You know, don't let anybody talk down on you for you wanting the stars, bro. Or vice versa, man. Like, listen, bro. People are people. Everybody's different. There's people out there that are minimalist and they could live... Nigga, they could live in a fucking shack with barely anything. And then there's people that, bro, they like their amenities. They like the pool. They like the jacuzzi. They like the fucking sauna. They, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. bro, everybody's different. You can't shit on somebody for wanting a regular lifestyle and you can't shit on somebody for wanting to be rich and have a certain lifestyle. Like, bro, yeah. if that's not for you, cool. That's not for you. But don't talk down on the next person. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So it's still 30 minutes? Yeah. Well, fuck it, guys. Well, fuck it, guys. This <laughs> episode 62. Yeah. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget, link down in the description facts, for merch. Facts. Go copy something. If you guys want to fucking, you know what I'm saying, see us do a giveaway soon, go ahead and let us know what you guys want to see us give away. And we appreciate everybody. Love. Love, love. Peace.